What's up Age fans, this is Age Vampire's Tips and welcome back to my Glory of Greece campaign walkthrough. Now in the last episode we finished the very first mission. So let's get on with the second mission in this campaign. Let's take a quick look at our objectives for this mission. The first objective is that we need to capture the ruins and the second objective is that we need to construct two sentry towers beside the ruins. The difficulty level will be the hardest difficulty as usual and let's begin with the mission. Now right away you want to queue a couple of villagers at your town center, set a gathering point at the berries and get two villagers to forage at those berries. Now the next thing you need to do is research small wall because we're going to need to build a wall. And no, that's definitely not a Trump reference. But seriously, we do need, need to build a wall over here. And make sure to build it right here. Now, this wall is very important because it keeps out red. And we don't want red X-Men flooding our base in a couple of minutes. So that's why we really need to build this wall. Now, this mission is isn't actually very difficult but if you don't build this wall it will be so make sure to build this wall all right so while that wall is uh, being completed i'm going to destroy this storage pit it's it's such an ugly storage pit it's such a bad placement i'm not sure why they even did that i mean why would they want to make me delete my own storage pit but oh well i need to do this because it's just so ugly and i'm going to build a new storage pit over here that this is much better all right so the wall has been completed and right on time because red scouts are already trying to get in my base and keep in mind red does start in the bronze age so he does is he is ahead on you when it comes to unit upgrades so you got to be careful about that so right now you do want to, to have a couple of more um, villagers on boot and really the goal here is going to be to build your economy and you can do it pretty easily at this point because the wall keeps the red units out and red does have quite a few units few units actually so also make sure not to get housed all right make a couple of houses so I do want to make a second dock over here. All right. So you, you should build two docks, two docks, one here and one here. This dock will be just for fishing, but this dock, you can also use this dock to make some warships later on in order to defend the shallows that are over here. Red is actually over here and the ruins are over here with uh, where these flags are so we need to capture these ruins and build two sentry towers in that area all right i do need a couple more houses so i'm going to build up my economy here and as soon as my economy is uh, up and running i will advance to the bronze age and i will upgrade my units and then i will attack red and I'll probably attack Red with some stone throwers because he has a couple of um, of towers. I could also make slingers. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. But if I don't make slingers at this point, I don't have to mine any additional stone in order to make those two sentry towers. So I really want to avoid making any slingers here. Alright, now it's time to make some farms as well. All right, get these guys working here. Okay, let's stop making fishing boats for now because I do have plenty of fishing boats at this point. Let's get some foragers off these berries and let them build some farms. I will be able to advance to the next age here pretty soon. If I build some houses, 
so embarrassing when you get housed. It's really, it really is. But oh well. All right, as soon, so as soon as I've queued 16 uh, villagers here, I am going to advance to the next stage. Because 16 times 50 equals 800, and that's exactly the amount of food you need to advance to the next stage. Okay. Oh, wait, I still need a second building. Oh, no. Well, this is really embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of embarrassing, actually, but um, no big deal. So, meanwhile, I took that time to research stone mining and also I'm going to do some unit upgrades in the storage pit, make a bowman and also I do want to make two scout ships. Let's make one more farm. Okay, so at this point I really would just want to get my upgrades done and... Yeah, basically, I will attack. I will start to attack red pretty soon here. So yeah, I can use these ships to defend these shallows. I think I can delete my wall right now. Oh crap. There is a guy in here. No big deal. Alright, he's dealt with. Now, we've advanced to the Bronze Age. Upgrade your, um, your ships. As well as... Um, as well as upgrade the wheel in the market. For research, rather. So these scouts are dealt with pretty easily. And you see that these uh, ships are actually doing a pretty good job of um, getting rid of those X-Men very easily. Alright, so there is a tower over here. I do actually want to make a stone thrower so I can get rid of that tower. Alright, so as soon as I've up upgraded wheel, I want to upgrade the second woodworking upgrade to increase my the, infi the efficiency of my wood cutters. Alright, so there's a bunch of units over here. Let's send my ships to the rescue. Let's make a, a government center. All right, he's dealt with. Okay, see, so we do start off with 200 gold. So we do have exactly enough resources to make one stone thrower. And I do want to make a stone thrower to get rid of that tower. So I also want to get some gold over here. There's no gold in my land, so I have to get gold from this place over here. All right, uh, the stone thrower is ready. All right, let's make a town center over there while the, um, the stone thrower, thrower is getting rid of the um, tower there. Now, I do want to uh, research Watchtower because as the mission objectives say, we do have to build two sentry towers. So I do need to research sentry tower right here. And that tower is dead, so I can advance with my units. Oh, I have two stone throwers now. Yeah, that's right. We do. We start. With, we start off with two hundred gold, so we can make two stone throwers, not one. I, <laughs> I can't. Um, I can't do math apparently. Okay, so I'm going to grab some gold over here, but actually I don't really. Well, I do. I do need this gold. I do want to make a couple more. Um, stone throwers. But uh, meanwhile, I do need to upgrade Sentry Tower. Let's make a another Stone Thrower. And let's just advance 
the over the river here. There's a bunch of units over here. Whoa, he has a lot of X men. So right now I'm actually using attack ground because when you're using attack ground the computer is pretty dumb and he doesn't know that you're attacking him if you're using attack ground. But that's always pretty useful. And he's actually advancing pretty fast here. Maybe I should uh, repair this wall over here. I'm, I am going to need a couple of archers. Oh boy. Alright, these, these ships will deal with everything, I think. So let's just go back with our stone throwers and simply... Alright, that guy might not die. So let's get those ships over there. Oh, crap. So, as you can see, this mission is actually pretty easy, but you gotta make sure that you don't delete your walls too early. I think I deleted my walls a little bit, just a little bit too early. I think I should have made a hoplite or something instead of those stone throwers and just get rid of those X-Men first instead of, yeah, wasting a lot of time and gold. Well, wasting gold isn't really that much of an issue here, but... Um, yeah, it's still wasteful. Let's get that guy over there. Oh, there's a lonely ship over here. Well, just let him be. He isn't much of a threat anyway, so... Alright, so... Just get rid of those guys and... Damn, I have a lot of resources, uh, really. <laughs> Great resource management. Alright, so as I said, these runes are over here, so I do want to advance my stone throwers to this place. And once that's done, I can build my sentry towers. But do keep in mind, there are uh, two towers over here uh, from red, so you do want to destroy them first. Using your stone throwers, obviously. And once that's done, you can pretty much finish this mission because you only need to capture these runes, which I've already done. And then you just need to... Whoops. Build two towers over here. I've already researched uh, sentry towers, so... I just need to make them. So there's one. So this mission is actually kind of boring. I think this is the most boring mission of this this uh, campaign. It's still quite fun, but Red is really passive. 
And notice how he didn't make a single Bronze Age unit. I find that very peculiar about this mission. The demoralized um, Tyridian yeah, a lot of stuff over here. Demoralized troops. Soldiers. Ruins, With mineral ruins resources, mineral blah, blah, blah. Okay. So yeah, I, I find it kind of peculiar that Red doesn't make any Bronze Age units in the game. I'm pretty sure that in the original, Red would make some, some Bronze Age units. I think he would make Stone Throwers. Uh, I'm not sure about any other units, but um, I'm pretty sure he does make some Bronze Age units in the original campaign. I could be wrong about this, though. But um, yeah, overall, this mission is actually pretty, pretty easy, mainly because of the pretty dumb AI in this mission. Um, this is definitely a, a much easier mission than the first mission. So, um, but yeah, that's how to do the first mission. It really, it's just a build-up game once you've built that wall. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it useful or you enjoyed it at least. If you did, make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe if you want to stay updated on future videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.